were builders. They had been in Egypt building the, uh, the, the buildings for Pharaoh. And they were shepherds. They were, not, they were not military men. But what they didn't, what they were not able to understand was this. They weren't going to go in and fight on their own. They were on God's side and God was on their side. And when they got into that land, God was going to step in and he said, I will give you the land. I have given you the land. God was going to fight for them. God was going to give them the land and he was going to give them the victory. To them, it was all the matter of the comparison between themselves and, and these giants in the natural realm. Uh, how do we fight giants? They're trained in battle. They're giants. We're shepherds. We're builders. How are we going to do this? Josephus, one of the uh, great historians of, of Bible days, says this. Josephus speaks of giants who have bodies so large and countenance so entirely they begin to walk in our victory, begin to overcome everything the devil has stolen from us. Go into the enemy's camp and take back. in the land. It's time for the church to rise up and shake off those heavy bands to lift up those holy hands. I said back at the beginning of this, I was talking about the children of Israel when they came up against the giants of Anak. Goliath, when uh, the children of Israel, when they came up against Goliath, it didn't fare. It didn't fare. Not for a normal man to come up against a man nine foot six when the normal man is a builder and a shepherd and the nine foot six guy is a military soldier. And beloved, it isn't fair today because we're giants. And the poor little devil. He can't do whatever he wants to do with us. We tell him to go, he's got one choice. To go. We tell him to stop, he's got one choice, to stop. We are trained in battle. We are trained with our armor on. We have the sword of the spirit in our hands. We have the shield of faith in the other hand. We're moving forward into victory. We are not just going to be people who walk in divine health. We're going to take health to the nations. We're not just the people who walk in prosperity. We're going to, we're going to buy buildings and airplanes and in the power of God to move out and take the territory that God sent us to take. Lord, as you have God's offer in your own eyes, you're defeated. But I'm here tonight to tell you we are giants in the land. Giants in the land. And as soon as we understand that, the cords are broken. It just screams. The devil's been defeated. Jesus defeated him for us. Yeah. Yeah, we have battles with giants. But we're the giants. I, I, when the Lord gave this to me, I thought, I've never heard this sermon. I've heard about all the giant fights. But it, it's always the devil who's the giant. He's fooled us. All he's got is a word battle. And he's made us think he's a, still a giant. He's a grasshopper. You don't have to fear a grasshopper. We're the giants who take the land and walk in the victory that God intended us to walk in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the giants are in the land. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Stand up, giants. Let's stand. Glory to God. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Glory to his name. Glory to his name. Pastor David, let's, let's sing that. We haven't sung that for a long time. He's under my feet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If he's under my feet, that was under my feet. Since I've never played it, so okay. I'll try it. 
Cause of the mouthy, the sun. 